Why on earth would we do a review of a tablet that's almost two years old? Well, it was never officially released to the public, so to us, it's brand new. I'm Adam Dow, this is PocketNow.com, and this is our hands-on review of the HP Touchpad Go. The HP Touchpad Go was to be HP's 7-inch offering in the tablet space. Due out in fall of 2011, it would have been one of the first 7-inch tablets ever. Two months prior to its release, however, then-CEO of HP, Leo Apotheker, abruptly ceased all WebOS hardware operations and the dozens of Touchpad Go production models were relegated to be destroyed. They didn't all complete their sojourn to the dumpster, however, as several have popped up in the hands of HP employees, eBay buyers, and most recently, me. The Touchpad Go is exactly what you would expect it is. It's a tiny touchpad. The 7-inch diagonal screen has a resolution of 1024 by 768 with an unimpressive pixel density of 183 ppi. That said, the 1.5 GHz dual-core Snapdragon processor and 1 GB of RAM still measure up even by today's standards. Rounding out the specifications, we have 16 GB of online storage, radios for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AT&T Cellular 3G, and GPS. The whole unit is a beefy 13 mm thick, but feels great in the hand due to the soft touch backplate. The Touchpad Go also sports two cameras, but that's where the camera excitement ends. The front-facing 1.3 megapixel camera is adequate for video calling, and that's about it. The rear-facing 5 megapixel shooter sports a single LED flash, but lacks autofocus, meaning you'd be better served bringing the Pre-3 with you if you plan to capture any special moments. Moving inside, we have a tablet running the WebOS that we all know and love. This particular unit came loaded with WebOS 3.0.2, two versions older than the latest release. There is a doctor available to load WebOS 3.0.5, but given the limited nature of the Touchpad Go's availability, we opted to stick with what was there and not risk anything. If you find yourself in possession of one of these gems, Preware, the ultra homebrew collection of patches and scripts becomes necessary rather than a nice addition. It is through Preware and a collection of homebrew apps and patches that you can trick HP servers into thinking that this is a real touchpad and not a touchpad go, so that you can activate the device, sign into or create a new profile, and access the app catalog. The interface is exactly the same as a 10 inch touchpad, including cards, stacks, tossing cards away, slingshotting cards away, and even includes the famous Angry Birds Easter Egg slingshot. Unfortunately, the same holds true of the app ecosystem, which, sad to say, is even more depleted now than ever before. While most of the basics are there, games, social media, productivity, you'll be hard pressed to find the more popular apps of today. Even apps like the incredibly popular Glimpse are no longer supported on the WebOS platform. The apps you do find though will perform very well. Email, gaming, notifications, all perform swimmingly on the 1.5 GHz dual core processor that this little baby packs. At one point we had over two dozen apps open simultaneously with little noticeable lag. Battery life is a bit of a concern. Now, we're not sure if this is because it's a two-year-old battery, some optimizations are just not there, or what have you, but we could only manage about a day of light to moderate usage. No doubt heavy users would have no problem draining the battery in far less time, especially if using the Go for something like navigation. And speaking of navigation, while this device does indeed sport a GPS chip, there were no on-device controls to turn the GPS on or off. Once again, we had to turn to Preware, which had an app designed to toggle the GPS on a phone. It seemed to work if the built-in navigation software was to be believed, but we couldn't get it to lock onto any satellites even when outside on a clear day. Seems the software was just not there yet. Overall, the Touchpad Go would have been superior to its older and bigger brother in many ways, if it had been finished. 
As it stands today, it is a passable tablet companion, but falls very short of today's 7-inch iOS or Android equivalents, including the Kindle Fire. While the hardware is on pace with current-gen devices, the score takes a battery-sized hit. And of course, as has long been the case with WebOS, the user experience score is superb, while the software score drags it down like a boat anchor. We had to give the touchpad go an overall score of 7.3. That's going to do it for our hands-on review of the touchpad go, the little tablet that could. HP just wouldn't let it. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up or a share. You can subscribe and or follow us in all the usual places. You can follow me on Twitter at Dead Technology. Once again, I'm Adam Dowd with PocketNow.com, and I thank you for watching.